This is Punchbowl, a bustling suburb of Sydney's west. Population of 20,000 plus. A refuge for migrants. More than a third are Muslim. Even so, it's never had its own specially built mosque. But that's all changing with the opening of Sydney's newest mosque. This building is already an icon, having won awards for architectural excellence. The architect, Angelo Candelepis, is actually a Christian of Greek Orthodox faith. I didn't know what to do, so I spoke to him with the Greek Orthodox priest. I said to him, should I really be doing a mosque? Should I, be? I mean, it's ridiculous for me to be doing a mosque. What would I know about doing these things? And he said, we're all the children of God and you must do every single such project that comes to you. So now, here I am, without really knowing how it came to be. You have to ask the question, what is a minaret? And a minaret is about sound. It's about the call to prayer. It's about an idea that there's something to be rejoiced and that all people should hear it. It's even more wonderful if you can't see the source of the sound. And in this mosque, you will be able to hear the call to prayer. You will know where it's coming from, but it won't be obvious where it's coming from. This is definitely more than just a building. A mosque brings our community together, not just to pray, but people like to mingle outside, and you get to catch up with them in the mosque. I would say uh, it's bold, it's beautiful, it's contemporary, and it's warm. I think these are the best words to describe our mosque. The features which seem to catch everyone's attention are the makanas. There are 102 of these mini domes. So we brought a calligrapher from overseas to paint in gold, the 99 names of gold, one name in each of these mini domes. We started out with the first one which says, Hu Allah. He is Allah, He is the God. Allah meaning the God. Ar-Rahman, the most gracious. Ar-Rahim, the most merciful. And then it continues until, until the last uh, name at the end. Here, what is important in the architecture is to get that sense of connectivity to the heavens. And that makes for a very intimate relationship with you and God for me.